Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful mosaic blanket. The blanket is made with a double knit yarn and 4.5mm crochet hook, but check the description box for more details. If you prefer written version of this pattern, please visit my Etsy store link in the description box. This blanket is approximately 32 inches wide and 30 inch long, but you can make it in any size you like. If you want exactly same blanket size, chain 115. If you want different size, you need to chain multiplies of 2 plus 1. For this tutorial, I'm just going to make a practice swatch that is 11. So 5 multiplies of 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. But once again, if you want 32 inch wide blanket, chain 115. Let's start. I'm chaining 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And now, my first row, I will make one single crochet into each chain, and I'm gonna to start in second chain from the hook. So one single crochet into each chain, start in the second chain from your hook. So this is your first single crochet. This is your second single crochet and continue until end of the row. So this is our last single crochet and now at the end of the row, just cut the yarn. In the mosaic blankets, we are always start from the right side to the left side. So after cut the yarn, take a new color, make a knot, insert your hook under both loops in the first stitch. So insert your hook into the first stitch. Now take the second color. Put on the knot, tie it and pull through, pull through the stitch, chain one. We can start row number two. So row number two, we will make one single crochet into each stitch and we will start in the same stitch. So first stitch, make one single crochet into the first stitch and now we will start to work in the back loops only. So make one single crochet into each stitch in back loops only. Back loops, so now I put my hook under both loops, but we want only back loops like here and make single crochet into each stitch like you would normally do. So continue until the last stitch. In the last stitch make one single crochet under both loops. So always we make one single crochet under both loops in the first and in the last stitches in every rows. Now cut the yarn, change color, and again restart from the right side. Change color for pink again. And as I said, first stitch and last stitch are always work under both loops. So insert your hook under both loops of the first stitch. Pull new color through, chain one. Again, make first stitch under both loops and then make one single crochet into each stitch under and work under back loop only. So one single crochet in back loops only. I see you in the last stitch. So here's the last stitch. So remember to put your hook under both loops in the last stitch. Cut your yarn, take gray color, Insert your hook into the first stitch, pull gray color through, 
chain one and let's start our pattern make one single crochet in the first stitch and remember it's you need to work under both loops and now we're gonna make a double crochet into the front loop of the stitch two rows below so here here is the front loop so insert your hook under this front loop to stitch below and make a double crochet so skip this stitch here and now yes this one you need to skip and now make one single crochet into the next three stitches in back loops only so this is your first stitch second single crochet and third single crochet and once again make a double crochet into the front loop of the stitch two rows below so here double crochet and make one single crochet into the next three stitches in the back loops only one two and three continue this sequence as many times as you need remember last stitch must be single crochet under both loops doesn't matter what the pattern said last stitch must be single crochet under both loops so cut the yarn and it is this is how it should look like now take a pink color and let's start row number five so insert your hook under the first stitch and pull new color through chain one and make one single crochet into the first stitch under both loops And now make a double crochet into the third loop of the next stitch but two rows below so the third loop is here mm. so this is your third loop you need to insert your hook under this third loop so again third loop is here okay so yarn over insert your hook under this third loop it can be a bit hard from begin yarn over pull up the loop yarn over pull up the loop and this is your double crochet under the third loop and now make one single crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet under the next or the, the front loop of the stitch two rows below so here one single crochet into the next stitch in back loop one double crochet into the third loop under the third loop so this is a third loop one single crochet into the next stitch in the back loop only One double crochet into the front loop of the next stitch to row below. One single crochet into the back loop and single crochet under the both loops in the last stitch. Then cut the yarn. Let's start row number six. Take a gray yarn, insert your hook into, under the first stitch, pull through the gray gray yarn, chain one, make single crochet into the first stitch under the both loops, and now make one single crochet into the next two stitches. One single crochet into the next two stitches, into the back loops only. So this is your first single crochet. This is your second single crochet and now make one double crochet into the third loop. So this is your first and second loops and this one is your third loop. So make a double crochet under this third loop and now make one single crochet into the next sti three stitches in the back loops only. So one, two, 
three and continue this sequence until end of your row so again one double crochet under the third loop of the stitch two rows below this is the third loop and one single crochet into the next three stitches so my row is almost finished so my last stitch is the second stitch is my last stitch cut the yarn keep repeat rows from four to six as long as you need and when you reach desire length you start to make a border okay so your last row should be with the pink yarn So let's make last row, pull new color through, chain one, make one single crochet under both loops, make one double crochet into the third loop of the stitch two rows below, make one single crochet into the next stitch into the back loop only, make one double crochet into the third loop. continue until end of the row and now do not cut your yarn do not turn we'll now chain one chain one and turn your work turn your work and now make one single crochet into each stitch one single crochet into each stitch in back loops only so one single crochet into each stitch into the back loops only. Okay, so we will go around with our border and on the corner make one single crochet, chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch. So chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch this is your corner and now we are going to make one single crochet per row so each row on the sides work one single crochet per each row one single crochet per each row And again in the corner one single crochet chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch and then again work one single crochet into each stitch you can hide your end if you want while you are working or you can wave the ends inside with your needle when you finish again single crochet chain one single crochet and on the sides make one single crochet per row and at the end slip stitch to the first stitch cut the yarn and that's your blanket is done Thanks for watching, bye!